Welcome to yet another video on Excel. In this video, we shall see how to create spark lines in Excel. Let's understand what spark lines are. On your screens, you can see category wise sales data for a period of one year from January to December in respect of three product categories, namely furniture, office supplies, and technology. In the last two columns, you can see small charts. This is a column spark line and this is a line spark line. Let's see what spark lines are. Spark lines are tiny charts inside single worksheet cells. These are tiny charts within single worksheet cells that can be used to visually represent and show a trend in your data. Instead of looking at the numbers and arranging them mentally, we can visualize the trend easily using a spark line. In the case of furniture, sales are higher in the initial four months, then they decrease and they pick up again during the last three months of the year. Similarly, in respect of office supplies, the second and third month register very low sales, whereas the remaining months excepting October register more or less the same amount to sales. In respect of technology, we can see that the second half of the year registers higher sales compared to the first half. So spark lines enable us to understand the trends at a glance. And spark lines can draw attention to important items such as seasonal changes or economic cycles and highlight the maximum and minimum values in a different color. So we can see seasonal variations here and we can even understand economic cycles whether there has been a growth shown by a higher sales or recession represented by lower sales. Here you can see a tall green bar which represents the highest sales in respect of furniture and a tiny red bar which represents the lowest value of sales. Similarly, in the case of office supplies, this green bar represents the highest value of sales and this red bar represents the lowest value of sales. When we look at the line spark line, we can see that the data points are represented by markers. And in this case, the red marker represents the highest sales and the black marker represents the lowest sales. So just by looking at the charts, we can understand when we had the highest sales and when we had the lowest sales and what was the trend in sales. Having understood the importance of spark lines and data analysis, let's see how we can create spark lines. Let's head to an Excel spreadsheet. The information about spark lines, which are shown here, have been taken from Microsoft Document, which is available in support.microsoft.com. The Excel sheet that you see here contains category wise 12 month sales data for the year 2017 in respect of furniture, office supplies, and technology. And here we can see category-wise profit for the year 2017 for the past 12 months. We are going to see how to create a column spark line, a line spark line, how to format them. And in respect of category-wise profit, we shall see how to create a win or lose spark line. For creating a spark line, we have to click on the Insert tab and we have a group of spark lines here. For creating a column spark line, we click on column and choose the data that you want. That is, we have to select the data range. For selecting the data range, let's click on this button and select this data range and click on this button again. Choose where you want the spark lines to be placed. So let's click on this button and click here. So we want the spark lines to be placed here. Let's click on this button and click OK. So we can see the spark line here. And the style of the spark line can be changed by clicking on any of the spark lines that are available. Uh, you can see more spark lines by clicking here. I shall go for this blue spark line. For copying the spark line, we can use the fill handle to drag down. So we have spark lines for all the three categories. Click on a spark line. All the other spark lines also get selected. They form a group of spark lines, which means that whenever I change one spark line, the others get changed automatically. For instance, if I choose this style, 
it gets reflected in all the spark lines. For ungrouping spark lines, let's click on a spark line. Because they are grouped, all of them get selected. Let's click on spark line here and let's click on ungroup. This will ungroup selected spark line. So let's click on ungroup and the spark lines have become ungrouped. We can ungroup these two by clicking again on ungroup. Now all these have become independent spark lines and if we change one of them, the other one doesn't get affected. Let me try changing this one and we can see that we can format each spark line in a different manner. If we want to regroup them, we can select them all, click on spark line and click on group. The color of the first spark line gets replicated in the remaining two spark lines. Now we have options for choosing the high point and the low point as well as negative points. We can also choose the first point and the last point. Normally we look for highest value and the lowest value. In this case, there are no negative values. So let's click on high point. The high point gets changed as black by default and low point also gets shown as black in case you want different colors for the bars representing the high point and the low point. We can change them using the marker color option. Let's click on the drop down and click on the arrow against the high point. It allows us to choose any of the colors. So let me choose green for the high point. We click on marker color again, go to low point and let's choose red for the low point. So you can see that the high point is shown as green here and the low point is shown as red. As the spark lines are grouped, we need to change the marker color only once. It gets replicated in all the spark lines. Now let's see whether the data shown here is correct. Let's look at the green bar and see whether this represents the maximum sales value. The sales value here happens to be 37,056, which is the maximum. And here the lowest value is 5,964, which is correctly shown by the red bar. So we can see that the column spark line works fine. Let's create a line spark line now. Let me place the cursor on this cell. Go to Insert, go to Spark Lines and click on Line. So it is asking for the data range. So let me click here and select the data range. Click here again. Location range 03. It's correct. That is where I want to place the spark line. So 03 is fine. So let's click on OK. So we have the spark line here. We can drag this and fill it here. We can choose the required color from here. Let me choose a light blue. And let's click on the high point and the low point. And we can change the colors of the high point and the low point here. We can see that in the line chart, unlike the bar chart, we can't see data points being marked for every month. For creating markers for every month, we can use the marker color option. So let's click on marker color. And in the markers, let's go for light blue for all the months. and. We go back to marker color and for the high point, let's choose red. So we can see that the highest points are represented in red. And for the low point, let's choose black. We can see that the low points are marked by black markers. And we can see the trend in sales very clearly in this line spark line too. Now let's look at the category wise profit data. And we are going to create a win loss spark line here. Let's click on the cell, click on insert, click on win loss spark line. Choose the data that you want. So I'm going to select this data and location range. We need to place the spark line in this location, which is N10. N10 is correct. So let's click on OK. Months having profit are shown in blue color and months having lows are shown in red. Let's check whether it's correct. So in the first two months, we can see negative figures. So those are represented by red. And in the fifth month, that is in May, again, there's a negative, which is correct. And in the 10th month, that is October, again, you have lows, which is represented by a red color. In the case of office supplies, there are no negatives. 
so we see all blue and in the case of technology we see lows only for the month of april which is represented by red color so just by looking at the charts we can understand which months resulted in the loss and which months registered profit this allows us to take proactive measures during the next year to prevent such losses as in the other cases we can change the marker color by clicking here for the highest point let's choose green for the lowest point let's choose yellow so we can see that we had the highest profit in the green colored months let's check this in the case of furniture we should have the highest profit is shown in the month of september that's correct we have the highest profit in the month of september and the lowest point that is the highest loss or the lowest profit is shown in the month of october october mark the highest loss or the lowest profit so that's correct similarly for office supplies the lowest profit was in the month of february that's correct and the highest profit was in the month of august that's correct so we can see that the column spark lines and line spark lines work very well with metrics such as sales and in the case of profit win and loss spark lines would be an appropriate option hope you found this video useful if you liked this video please click on the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues please watch the other videos in our channel if you love our videos please subscribe to our channel and please do not forget to click on the bell icon while you subscribe so that you get notified when we post new content in our channel please visit our website hadicosmos.com you can see interesting content there thank you very much see you again with yet another video have a great day